In this video, I'm gonna show you how I found a unique way to disguise and hide our laundry area by building a sliding door with French cleats. French cleats have so many fun and unique possibilities of what you can hang on them. I chose to make a bunch of different boxes and hang some of my favorite plants. This was a simple and easy project and I'm really excited to show you how I did it in today's video. Let's get into it. All right, so I got my 10. We'll use six of these for the frame and then four for the slats that'll get cut down at a 45, giving me the French cleat situation. And then these will make up the box. I got two for now. We'll see if I need to pick up more later, but uh, let's load it up and get home. All right, I got all the select pine offloaded. I'm making a couple measurements. I ran a couple sample cuts through, doing a 45 degree angle cut for the French cleat. And uh, after making a couple adjustments, we're right on the money. So let's get to making some cuts here and then we'll do some assembly. So I laid out all of my slats just to make sure that we're looking good. I'm now gonna cut these two outer ones down and then sand it all. Then I'll make my pocket holes to assemble it. Then we'll move on to the next steps. All right, got all my slats sanded down, my side pieces sanded. Now it's time to put the pocket hole jig to use. I'm gonna put a bunch of holes down the side rails and then I'll attach these slats. We'll do it with a little time lapse and uh, let's get to it. The slats are screwed in. I had a couple that I miscalculated, but I had to just throw a couple new pocket holes in so they lined up. But in order to cover up the pocket holes and to give it a thicker perimeter to actually screw into for the hardware and everything, just give it more rigidity, I cut these boards that I'm going to frame out the outside, which actually is the inside of the door but that'll cover up the pocket hole. So let's get to that step next. All right, it's the next day. We're back at this project. I'm gonna just make my life easier. You know how I like to use the spray clear coat. So I'm gonna do a spray polyurethane on this bad boy, let it fully dry and then We'll add the hardware. I need to make some boxes for the planters. We'll do that while this is drying. Let's get at it. All right, so now to make some planter boxes, I'm gonna ultimately only try and get these little four inch planter pots for all of my plants. I went to the Dollar Tree, found these that I can use as little trays inside the boxes so that when I water them, it keeps it watertight. This will be for like a double plant. These will be for the single ones. So ultimately, I just need to make a box that'll fit this outside perimeter. I have some six inch wood, so it'll be just enough to cover all of this. And then we'll go pick up some more plants. This one was just a tester, so we knew what size we're working with. But uh, enough talk, let's get to it. All right, got the grooves cut down for the boxes. This will be the bottom section, so I'll put the board in the bottom area here. Now it's time to cut some miters to make them into boxes. Then we'll cut the bottom section to fit, do a little test dry fit, and then glue them up. Perfect, it fits in here just right. I'll cut a board, boom, to fit in there. That'll raise it up just a little. Does it cover the planter? 
Oh, perfect. And actually it's gonna raise it, boom, just a little. Okay, let's just make a bunch more of these. All right, I got all of my boxes cut out, ready to go. The groove for the bottom section, still gotta cut that. But first I'm gonna do a little sanding, clean this all up, and then we'll do a little rough fit, measure for the bottom, cut the bottoms, and then do a glue up. All right, let's cut down the bottom section of the boxes, and then we're almost done with this project. I got my bottoms cut, sanded. Now it's time for assembly. Just glue it all up. All right, all of my boxes are assembled. I threw a little putty on the areas where the nail holes were and then just any areas that needed some love. Now it's time to give them all one last sand and then we'll clear coat them. We'll add our uh, cleats to the back, throw some plants on them, and hang them on the wall. All right, all the boxes are finished, sanded, ready to go. They're gonna get a clear coat, but I'm gonna add the French cleat part to the back first. So I'll glue it down, brad nail it, that way it's attached. Then we'll go ahead, clear coat all these, let them sit, and then move on to the next step. All right, boxes are made, sanded, ready to go. They got the French cleat on them. Now, all that's left is to give them clear coats. Let's do it. So this is our wine and coffee bar slash our laundry room, or laundry area, I should say. Got neatly tucked back in here. Got a little cubby space for supplies and storage but ultimately, we really don't need this open all the time. So I've been planning on having a door, a barn door, that would go here to close it off when we don't need it, and boom, slide open when we do. But obviously, I love having the natural light from the window, and you know, I just didn't really wanna close all of this off, so I came up with the idea of the slats, but then I also wanted to incorporate plants Hence where we're at now with the sliding barn door slash living plant wall situation. So enough talk, let's install the hardware for up there and then the door and then put some plants on it and then we're, we're done. made a slight modification and added a wheel to the bottom, which is helping keep it on track so that I'm not hitting the uh, handles. And now it just beautifully slides past. Boom. Pumped on that. That was a nice little additive. Well, there it is, friends, in all its glory. I'm pumped on how it turned out. I love that I get the natural light still coming through. I love how easily it glides, and uh, I love that I can change out these plants whenever I want. This was a fun project, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'd love to know in the comments uh, what you would do differently or how uh, you would have designed this. So until next time, friends, cheers it up and have a rad day. <laughs>